in the last presentation we completed the ohm's law now we will talk about the ohmic and non ohmic conductors it is very obvious that the conductors which follows the ohm's law is called as the ohmic whereas the conductors which do not follow the ohm's law is called as the non ohmic so let me write this thing down for ohmic it follows the ohm's law okay and uh, whereas the non ohmic one do not follow the ohms law fine and uh, you know ohms law is v equals to i r so we can plot the iv characteristic this is my i this is my v this is capital and uh, as r is constant the resistance is constant we are having a straight line like this and this is 1 by r and it is our slope the angle made by this line with respect to the voltage axis is theta and we can also find it as tan theta so it is a simple case of ohms law the conductors which follows the ohms law what happens to the non ohmic conductors why they do not follow ohms law because on increasing the voltage the potential difference on increasing it the temperature increases and because of the increase in temperature the resistivity that is rho increases and hence the resistance so it's very simple on increasing the voltage the linearity of the material is lost why because the resistance changes and resistance is our slope so if i want to plot it i need to change the resistance after a certain voltage so let me first draw it then i will explain you what's actually going in the curve i'm calling it curve because it is not a straight line anymore because it is a non ohmic conductor so it will look something like this and you can see after this after this voltage v1 it becomes non linear this is my voltage axis this is my current and uh, let's say current here is i1 now how i can say that the resistance is increasing because i can see the slope changing so let me show you how you can also analyze these things at this point if i draw the slope then it will look something like this and let me take this point when the voltage is increased and if i draw the slope it will look something like this and now we have to analyze these two slopes i will call this s1 s2 you can clearly see that the slope s1 is greater than the slope s2 okay and in the previous lecture i told you and also here i told you that the slope is 1 by r so 1 by r1 is greater than 1 by r2 or you can say that r2 is greater than r1 so the resistance is changing on increasing the voltage in this case this is how you have to analyze the non ohmic conductors this type of question may also be included in various exams they will give you the graph and they will ask you whether the resistance is increasing or decreasing so there is one more thing i need to tell you that this resistance is equal to rho l by a where rho is my resistivity and it is equal to 1 by sigma where sigma is my conductivity and on increasing the resistivity the resistance also increases if we keep the length and cross section area constant so this is a very simple thing and also if you can think about the changes that will occur because of increase in temperature then the length increases and the area of cross section decreases so these things are also contributing in increase of the resistance so this is all for this presentation